Good evening friends. Let us do this problem from SBPO 2018 mains. Here, three conditions are needed. Ten persons are sitting in two parallel rows. P, Q, R, S, T are sitting in row 1, facing north, while K, L, M and O are sitting in row 2, facing south. Right. So, P, Q, R, S, T are facing north in row 1, and K, L, M and O are facing south in row number 2. Right. <coughs> Not necessarily in the same order, of course. P sits. So, here we are given three conditions. P sits second to the right of Q. O sits, etc., etc. Three conditions are given. And then he is saying each of the questions below is given three questions. Who among the following sit opposite to L? How many persons are sitting between R and S? Who among the following sit at extreme right end of row 2? He is given three conditions. Now, he is saying these, these, these questions. These questions can be answered by reading 1 and 2 together or 2 and 3 together or 1 and 3 together. That's what he is saying. If the data and statements 1 and 2 together are sufficient, either 1 and 2 are sufficient, 1 and 3 are sufficient, 2 and 3 are sufficient or all 3 are needed. Right. Or even reading all 3 together, it is not sufficient. That's what he is trying to say. So it is not just important for us to solve this problem. It is actually important for us to keep track of which conditions we are using right so let's see let's uh, read the conditions in detail condition number one is saying uh, as per condition number one p is p sits second to the right of q as per condition number one p is in the bottom row which is facing north so second to the right of q means q first right second right q and p will be like this o sits immediate left of m right o sits immediate left of m so O is sitting in the row which is facing south. So O sits immediate left of M means it will be like this, right? Because they are facing south, right? So O is left of M. Please be careful here. O sits immediate left of M. When, but O is facing south. O and M are facing south. O does not sit opposite to S and Q. O does not sit opposite to S, comma Q. These are the three hints that were given as per condition number one. As per condition number two, what? Only two persons between L and M. L and M. We don't know who is which side. It can be like this. Okay. L does not sit up opposite to R and S. R and S. L is not opposite R and S. K. K opposite to T. Right. K opposite to means K is sitting in the in the row number two. And T is sitting in row number 1. So, K and T will be like this together. Right. As per condition number 3, P does not sit opposite to L and O. So, P is not sitting opposite to L comma O. N sits second to the right of K. So, N sits second to the right of K. Second to the right of K. Right. N. Then that means N and K are like this because they are sitting in the row number 2, right? N sits second to the right of K. That means N is here. K first rate is this, second rate is this, right? N is sitting second to the right of K. R does not sit at extreme end or not extreme left. R is not sitting at extreme left end. Only two persons sit between S and P. S and P or P and S. These are the three conditions that are given. P and S. Okay, only these three conditions are given. Now, what we have to find out, we are given three questions. One, what is the question? Who sits opposite to L? Who is opposite to L? Opposite L is who? Then, how many sitting between R and S? And extreme right end of row 2. R and S positions we want. R S positions. Row to extreme right. Who is this? These are the three questions that you have to solve using condition one, two, 
or condition one three or condition two three or condition one two three. Right. So now uh, looking at these conditions, it looks like little uh, tricky problem only. What we will do? Let's try to understand this in little detail. Let's try to pay condition one and two only. First, let's try to do one and two, then one and three, two and three, one two three all together. Right. So one and two, if we take together, we can ignore these three, these conditions. Right. Q is Q and P is like this. Okay. Let's take Q and P. Q and P are in row two. Okay. And as per condition, and M and O are together. Condition number two, only sorry, only one person sits between L and M. It is not two persons, it is one person only. Only one person sits between L and M. Right. Condition combining condition number one and two. M O is like this. Only one person sits between L and M. That means it can be like this. This is one option, or this is another option. There are only two options, right? Because only one person sits between, sits between L and M, so L can sit here, so the one person can sit, or L can sit here, so that one person that becomes O. There are only two options, right? Right, there are only two options. L is not opposite to R and S, and K is immediately about D. So, what we will do? Let's take uh, these cases only Q and space P, and we have to start somewhere. Let's start, let's assume what we will do. Who is sitting opposite to L? That is the question. Right. So if we have to say one and two conditions are not sufficient, that means we have to prove two ways where opposite L using one and two conditions, where we are getting two different people. Right. Using only one and two conditions, if we are getting two different people sitting opposite to L, then that means one and two are not sufficient. Similarly, if you have to say one and three are not sufficient, that means using one and three, we should be able to create two situations where opposite L, there are two different people. Okay, so that is the goal. Now we are, we are trying to create two, <coughs> two cases where R and S, uh, similarly R and S, how many people are between R and S. So we have to create two situations using one and two where R and S, in one case, uh, they are differing by let's say one, two, three, whatever. In another case, they are differing by uh, the number of people in between them is a different number. Right. Similarly, using one and two conditions, we have to create two scenarios where row two extreme right is some guy in one scenario and some other guy in some other scenario. Then we will be thoroughly sure that using one and two conditions, we cannot we cannot solve these questions. Right. Now what we will do? Q and P is like this. Right. Now we are free to choose either this uh, configuration for LM LMO or this configuration. Let's try with the simple one only. L space M O. So far, so good, right? Q space P. We are not contradicting anything. O is not opposite to S and Q. O is not at opposite to S and Q, right? And uh, and so far, K and T. K and T we have to fit together. So what we will do? K and T we can put K and T here also, here also, or here also. Let's try to put put K and T here. K and T here. So nothing is stopping. We are using condition numbers one and two, right? K and T here. Then um, O is not opposite to S and Q. O is not opposite to S and Q. So S will not come here. So what we'll do? S will put here. R will put here. Only N is left. N will put here. This is one condition. This is one statement, right? This 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 is this this situation is possible, right? Q and P, there is only one person in between, Q and P. M is next to O. M is uh, right of O because they are facing the south. Right. Then L and M, there are there is one person in between. L is not opposite to R and S. L is not opposite to R and S. K is opposite to T. Right. Now, nothing is stopping. We have created this one. Now, the same N S, if you move this side, there is nothing wrong also. Right. So, for example, if you say N S, L Q K M O T P R T P R right. So because there is nothing that is stopping to put N S here or here. 
right this condition will also satisfy these these rules right what we are trying to do we are trying to disprove these statements opposite else so here r and s are next to each other we are trying to show some other way where r and s are next to each other in this case they are zero space apart in this case they are three spaces apart right similarly we are trying to so show this is row number one row number two row number one row number two row number two extreme right row number two extreme right we are trying to change this position right in, in fact we are trying to change the extremes right either this extremes using rules number rules one and two if it is possible to change this then that means we cannot solve these two questions with rules one and two right so this if you take this structure what is problem nothing is problem right q is q and p there is one person q and p there is one person m is right of o m is right of o o is not opposite to s and q o is not opposite to s and q l and m are separated by one person yes l is not opposite to r and s l is not opposite to r and s and k is opposite to p k is opposite to c so that means these two these two are definitely cannot be solved with one and two right so that thing is gone one and two are useless for these two now let's try this one opposite l we have discussed uh, l and m l m o the structure is either like this or either like this right now first structure we have used and created these two contradictions let's try use try to use the second structure again m o l then q space p this is the default structure right q space p now k t they have to be together let's put k t somewhere here here what we have to do we have to try to prove the opposite of opposite of because these two anyway disproved we have to prove the opposite so opposite l we have to find so in this case opposite l we both got q only so we have to find someone else in opposite opposite uh, l right otherwise if you put q then it doesn't solve our purpose we have to disprove this statement so we have to pick someone else opposite l right earlier uh, we have picked q this time we are picking p and see if some condition some structure is possible uh, with p opposite l then that means this statement can also disprove that we are saying that one and two conditions cannot help in solving who is opposite l right so with this time we have pushed p opposite l and kt they have to be together we have put them here and then l is not opposite to r and s it is anyway not opposite to r and s o is not opposite to s and q so here s will not come here s will not come that means s will come here and uh, p q r s r will come here right r will come here and uh, k l m n n will come here right so this structure is a value structure as per conditions 1 and 2 right because q and p is spaced by 1 m is right of o m is right of o o is not opposite s and q o is not opposite s or q o is opposite r l and m one space l and m one space l is not opposite to r and s l is opposite to p k is opposite of t so in this case this is valid as per conditions 1 and 2 but we are getting opposite l p in this case this situation these these two situations are also valid in this situation we are getting q opposite l in this situation we are getting p opposite l so that means opposite l we cannot solve with one and two also similarly r and s their distance we cannot solve because in this case r and s are coming next to each other in this case they are way apart right who is row to extreme end those also that also we cannot solve so essentially what does that mean one and two are helpful for nothing in for all these three questions now let's try one and three right i will erase this one and three one and two are practically useless for solving any of the three questions right now let's try to solve one and three let's try to disprove that only again let's try to prove uh, that two conditions might be possible uh, two situations might be possible uh, using conditions one and three again let's start with uh, q and p q and p okay what is condition number three saying condition number three saying okay let's start with q and p q and p right this is q and p 
condition number 3 is giving an extra point which is s and p there are two points two two places obviously s cannot go this side because there are only five seats right s cannot go this side because if s goes one two three two more seats four five s will become sixth one which is not possible that means s has to be here on d right this is fixed as per condition number uh, as per condition number three right now r and t we don't know so this part is fixed right r will come here t will come here or r will come here or t will come here we don't know so there might be one extra this side or one extra this side one of this is possible right next l uh, as per condition number plus one m o is like this m o is like this as per condition number three n and k are like this okay there are total three seats on so total five seats only what does that mean combining this and this it can be because m and o, m and o have to be together so they cannot come between n and k so what does that mean n k m o or m o n space k this is these are the only two configurations right m o n space k because m o cannot come in between so only one is left that means this has to be l right as per condition number one, we are, we are getting only two combinations. Right. One is this NLKMO, NLKMO, or MO, NLK. Only two combinations we are getting using conditions one and three in the row number two. Right. I will erase this. Right. Now let's take both combinations. Okay. One and two, the combination one and two. Let's take the combination two, M O N L K. Okay, this is the set. Either this one or this one, right? Now S Q and P either will come here, S Q and P or S Q and P. There are only two options, right? It cannot S cannot go further. Then the number of seats will become six. P cannot go this side because number of seats will become six. So S Q and P either this structure or this structure. Now what is problem with this structure? Here he is saying O cannot sit opposite between S and Q. In this case, O is sitting between opposite, opposite Q. In this case, O is sitting opposite S. So this structure is gone. There is no way this structure is helpful for us. So that means this structure is gone. So this is gone. So what does that mean? As using conditions 1 and T, 1 and 2, 1 and 3, sorry, 1 and 3, condition number 1 and condition number 3, we are sure about the top row. The top row is N, L, K, M, O. Top row. We are clear. What does that mean? Top row is row 2. Row 2 extreme right. We are clear. Right. We are clear about 1 and 3 because there is only one option that is left. We are not able to create any other row. Only one option we have got. So, condition this third question. Right. Third question is 1 and 3. 1 and 3 we are able to solve. Right. Now, uh, let's continue. Right. So this one is gone. Now again, we have two options, right? S Q under P or S Q underscore P. We have only two options. Now let's look at the conditions again. P is not sitting opposite between L and O. So that means this condition is gone. P cannot sit opposite L or O. So here it is coming L O. So this case is gone. Right. This case is gone. So that means the structure is clear. What does that mean? We have only one structure. Then R and T can be here. R and T can be here. Right. What does that mean? With this, we have what? Only one valid top first row. Uh, sorry, second row. And we have only one valid first row where R and T can be changed. Rest all is fixed. What does that mean? L, L, who is opposite of L, this is also fixed. Right. 1 and 3 is actually giving us this statement. 1 and 3 is actually we are able to use 1 and 3 to derive who is opposite L. Right. But between R and S, R and S, how much is the difference? See, R we can put here or R we can put here. T we can put here or T we can put here. Nothing is stopping. See, because K is opposite to T is given in second number condition. It is not given in third number condition. So, as per condition 3 and 1, we are not able to derive whether T is here or T is here. Similarly, 
R not extreme left is given in condition number 3. That means R is not here. If it is given R is not at extreme ends, then we could have derived R is here and T is here. But here it is given R is not at extreme left. So, this condition is also not useful for us. This anyway we cannot use K and T. So, using 1 and 3, we are able to reach this point only. With this point, we are not able to say the distance between R and S. Right. Now, so, R and S we cannot, we cannot, uh, that so we cannot use. Now, if we use uh, condition number 2 and 3, that becomes even more tricky. Right. We have to check for this R and S. R and S, the conditions 2 and 3. Because for the first question and third questions, 1 and 3 were sufficient. So, we have to check. Uh, 1 and 2, anyway, we have checked for R and S. So, 2 and 3, we have to check. Because 1 and 3 is not possible here. Then only we can go for 1, 2, 3 and together. Right. Now, I will erase this. I will erase all of this. Then, we will use only conditions 2 and 3 to derive R and S two different places. We will try to create two different places. Because 1, 2, 3 any, is anyway possible that we have just discussed. 1, we are trying for 2 and 3. Is it possible? 1, 2, 3 is anyway definitely possible. Right? Because K and T are sitting opposite. So, we are able to fit R and T. Right? 2 and 3 together. Is it possible? What is 2 and 3 saying? 3 is saying N and K are spaced one apart. Right? And 2 is saying L and M, L and M are spaced one apart. So, what we will do? Let's try this kind of structure L, M, N and K, L, M, and we will put work. Nothing is stopping. Right. So, now he is saying P and S are spaced two times, two places, P and S. Right. As per this, L is not opposite to R and S, L is not opposite to T because K is opposite to T. So, K anyway, T we have to put. So, L is not R, L is not P, T, S. That means L has to be Q only. L has to be Q and P, Q, this has to be R. This is one possibility. Let's check this possibility. Is it working or not? As per condition number 2, L and M spaced by 1, L and M spaced by 1. L is not opposite to R and S. L is not opposite to R and S. Yes, L is opposite to Q. K is opposite to T. K is opposite to T. P is not opposite to L and O. P is opposite to N. R is not extreme left. R is extreme right. N and K separated by 1. N and K separated by 1. S and P, there are two different places. S and P, there are two different spots. Right. Now, what is saying? L, uh, the distance between R and S. The distance in this case, R and S are together. Now, he is saying, is, then can we say that condition 2 and 3 are sufficient? Let's try for one more variation. One more variation is, instead of P, P here, S here, P and S are to be Two spaces of water, right? Let's try this one. S and P. Right. Now also this satisfies all conditions. Right. This time, this time R and S, the distance is different. So basically, we have got two options, right? P, Q, T, S, R. This is one option. This is also valid option. This is also valid option. Let's check. Earlier we checked this option. Let's check this option also. L and M, one space. L and M, one space. L is not opposite to R and S. L is not opposite or L is opposite to Q, K is opposite to T, K is opposite to T, P is not opposite to L and O, P is opposite to M, N and K one person, N and K one person, R is not extreme left, S is extreme left, S and P are two spaces. So this thing is also possible, this thing is also possible. That means R and S we cannot define using conditions 2 and 3. Conditions 2 and 3 also we are getting two different possibilities of R and S. What does that mean? We have to use conditions 1, 2, 3 only to solve for this for this this problem the distance between r and s so which among the following is it opposite to l here in this case 1 and 3 are enough conditions 1 and 3 are enough 1 and 3 are enough here in case 1 2 3 are needed plus 2 3 1 3 not enough 1 2 not enough 2 3 not enough right among the following is it at extreme rate of work so 1 3 was sufficient right so this is the this is a good problem. This is a slightly tricky problem, but we need to be very careful in solving this kind of uh, problems. Right. In the next uh, next session, we will take one more problem from XBPO mains 2018, which is again a strong problem.
little lengthy and little uh, difficult problem. Let's pick that up in our next class. Hope you understood this. Hope you enjoyed this. All the best case. Thank you. Bye-bye.